Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to encrypt your messages using the concept of PGP. The following scenario is given. Bob wants to send Joe a message over the internet, but Bob knows that there is people who could read the message he is sending to Joe. To avoid that, he uses PGP software in order to encrypt his message so that only Joe would be able to read it. Well, this sounds good. We will be going through some of the theory and then we will encrypt the message in real time. It might get a little confusing in the beginning, but I will try to explain everything as simple as possible. So let's dive in and see what Bob would actually do. Alright, so now we will need to download our PGP software, in my case it's gonna be Cleopatra. Once installed, Cleopatra is going to ask you to create a new key pair which will be needed to encrypt and decrypt messages. So let's click on new key pair. Then enter your details. These don't have to be real, just type in whatever you want. As you can see, a new key pair has been created and added to our list. Now, you don't need to know what a key pair is, but make sure to make a backup in order to be able to recover if the software uninstalls or your computer gets lost. In the next step we will need to find the person's PGP key that we want to send the message to. Joe was kind enough to provide his public key which typically looks like this. We can think of this as a usual home address as we know it from real life. Let's copy this to our clipboard. In Cleopatra we are going to click on tools choose clipboard and then import in order to list Joe's PGP key on our software. Ok, so now we have a recipient we can send a message to. Now let's open up a notepad and write the message we want to encrypt. In this case I'm still going to use Cleopatra which has an embedded notepad. Next we will save the message to our clipboard. Last but not least, click tools clipboard and encrypt. We can now choose our recipient which is going to be the PGP from Joe. Hit OK and there we go, encryption was successful. If we paste in our clipboard to a notepad we will see that the encrypted message which only the recipient is able to decrypt and read looking like this. To give you a better understanding, we will cover the process in real time. Let's dive in. Alright, let's cover all this stuff in real time. As you can see, I have Cleopatra software on my desktop. I'm gonna click on it and generate a new key pair. I'm gonna type in Bobby for Bob. That's the details. Um, it's gonna create a new key pair, which will then be added to our list. Perfect. I will make a backup of this in case anything happens to my software. I'm just going to save it. Secret key successfully exported. Perfect. So now, in the next step we will need to find the person's PGP key. Um, I'm just going to pull it right here in my editor and copy this to my clipboard. As we covered er earlier, this is Joe's public key key. Alright then, let's hit tools, clipboard and certificate import in order to see Joey's name on our list. Perfect. Now we have a recipient we can send messages to. I will now open up a notepad and name it whatever. Encrypt. Now we will want to type in the message uh, that should be encrypted. So I'm just gonna write this is a secret message. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard, open up Cleopatra tools, clipboard and encrypt. So now we're gonna add the recipient Joe, hit OK, next and all operations are completed. So if we paste in the message now, we can see the encrypted message, which is only visible to Joe. 
and only he is able to read whatever I was writing here so that's that's it thank you for watching my video on how to encrypt messages using PGP and I hope to see you in the next one cheers